Hello, dear students. In previous lectures, in matter in our surrounding, we have studied mostly these main topic that is matter properties like particles property, matter states like solid, liquid, gas. Okay, and activities various we did on this topic. Now, yesterday homework we are solving that is your blueprint questions. Okay, page number six we have given. So first time solving those one. Okay, so first you are answer one. The first question. Okay, we want you to do arrange the different matters which is, which is given according to their density. So first will come in this case iron. Next will come chalk. Sorry, you have to arrange them in according to increasing. So first will come air. Okay, then it will come exhaust from chimneys. Exhaust from chimneys because that contain smoke. So its a mass will become increased. That's why density become increased. So exhaust from chimneys have greater density as compared to air. Okay. Now if you compare honey and water, so water is have lesser mass as compared to honey. That's why honey density will be more. Okay. Now the rest of three are solid state in which lowest mass is possessed by cotton. Next one by chalk and the highest mass content is in present in the iron. That's why iron have the highest density. So that will be the exact order according to increasing density. If we ask about the uh, decreasing density, the whole order will get reversed. Iron will come first, chalk, cotton in the reverse manner. Okay. So this is the answer for your first question. Now, answer second. He asked, uh, second is given in two parts, A and B. So, in case of A, he want you to state difference between different states, solid, liquid, gas. We have already did in the previous lecture, still I am explaining definite shape. Okay, definite, indefinite shape, so indefinite shape. indefinite shape okay volume if you talk about definite volume definite volume indefinite volume if you talk about the particle forces strong forces acting between them okay in this case forces are weaker in this case the forces are weakest okay that's the particle forces particles forces of which the matter is made okay strong in this case weaker and the weakest in case of the gases okay no fluidity they is not able to flow they are fluid they are also considered fluid Okay, they are rigid. They are quite rigid substances. Okay, but they are not rigid. Not rigid. This one also not rigid. Rigid is substance which is uh, cannot uh, easily change its shape by force. Okay, but on liquid, if you apply force, it will change. Gas also change, but solid do not change force. Uh, it shapes easily. Okay. These two one particularly considered non-compressible, non-compressible for both one, but this one is compressible. Pay attention, compressibility and rigidity are some uh, different concept completely. Okay, so these are the four and five five differences I have put. Okay, now the sex next part B. In that question, he asked you about the different terminology that is rigidity. You, I have already explained rigidity is quite good with, with the solids. Okay, liquid and gas are not considered rigids. Okay, why? Because their attraction forces are weak as compared to solid. Okay, the same is true with the compressibility. Compressibility is only possible for gaseous. Okay, solid, liquid do not show compressibility. Why? 
because in case of gases space between particles that's why gases are compressible okay the next property is ask about it fluidity fluidity so you already heard the liquid and gas can flow while solid cannot why because of attraction forces you will see the next one is filling a gas in a gas container filling a gas container so that will tell you that gases two properties is expressing that gases have indefinite shape and high compressibility these two properties are of gas is explained in filling of a gas of a container okay kinetic energy and shape sorry while you are filling he discussing the shape so shape we have told indefinite okay kinetic energy you will tell that uh, they have high kinetic energy gases have high kinetic energy they have high kinetic energy okay now density if they ask so the density is quite low low density is for them okay so these are the answers for sorry first two questions we have solved now the next that is your third in that he ask give reasons for that is also in parts let's discuss first one a gas fills completely the vessel in which it is kept so what does it give to you that gases have indefinite volume because gases have indefinite volume they acquire almost all the volume in which they fill next is a gas exert pressure on the walls of the container because kinetic energy of gases particles is quite high that is the reason of the pressure the third a wooden table should be called a solid of course why because it have definite shape and definite volume that's why we are calling it a solid fourth we can easily move our hand in air but not through a solid block of wood so that is true why because in case of air forces between air particles between air particles is very weak is very weak that's why you can easily move your hand through air but in case of a wooden block forces are quite strong forces are quite strong okay so that's why you cannot move your hand through it okay so these are the answer for the answer third part now we will discuss answer fourth in which he has said that liquid generally have lower density as compared to solid but you must be observed that ice floats on water find out why so you will answer yes it is true that liquids have low density than solids but in case of ice and water ice is solid but still it floats but still it floats on water because ice have a structure in which less mass is 
कंजर्व एंड दैट्स वाई इट्स डेंसिटी इज लोअर देन हेर यू विल टेल बिकॉज आइस हैव केज स्ट्रक्चर ओके इन विच लेस मास इज कंजर्व एंड दैट्स वाई इट्स डेंसिटी इज लोअर देन वाटर and you can simply write down that ice have lower density as compared to water that's why it can float on water easily okay so these are the answer for your previous questions okay now in today you will read particularly your chapter read chapter up to page number Five, page number five, and second thing, sort out five questions and answers, five question answers in rough note. Okay, that is your homework part. Okay, thank you.